Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I hope your week is going great. We're gonna do some puzzles today. We'll do died in the 90s. Well, more died in the 90s. We'll do this puzzle. Um, see, we move you over. Good. Perfect. So we have more died in the 90s. Very interesting. Some of these names sound familiar, some of them don't. It seems to be last names for a good amount of people in here. We have Dr. Seuss. You know, I had no idea. So Dr. Seuss died in the 90s. Interesting. We have Price. I'm not sure who that is. Again, seems like they are putting last names of people. Andre Giant is... Are they talking about the wrestler Andre the Giant? I don't remember that either. However, recently I came across something on TikTok that was talking about a wrestler who died on live while they were live. Um, and I'm not sure if this was in, I think it was in the 90s or maybe early 2000s. I forgot his name, but I'm sure once I mention it, you guys, if you watch wrestling, you know who I'm talking about. But he had an accident, like he was coming in and they had him hooked on like a rope or something. And the, um, the little class piece, the, it's like a ring that connects him to the rope like that failed I guess and he was coming down and he fell like 80 feet into the ring that was crazy I don't remember hearing about that but maybe I have and just forgot about it but sometimes I get random things like that on my tiktok wait nope I, wait okay wait. yeah here we go and I can't remember his name. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but that was crazy. And then they literally announced that he died. And then they continued like with the wrestling matches, which is like absolutely insane to me. Like they showed The Undertaker having to do a match after that and there's like a blood stain in the ring and that's actually sick. But I don't remember, I don't remember if I heard, well I don't remember hearing about that. I also don't know how long ago, might have been the 90s or early, maybe early 2000s, but it was a while ago. Um, but that was like crazy. Let me see maybe nah I used to watch wrestling around the time when like um <clears throat> um Like stole stone cold and like actually when the rock was wrestling I used to watch wrestling at, like a little bit before that and then once they came onto the scene, I watched a little bit too, but I don't remember a lot of it. I used to really like the big show. I remember his like little theme song when he used to come in. <laughs> and my mom was like, loved um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, like loved him. 
and the rock as well who didn't like the rock I've been talking, I only found three words. Let's go in, what do we have here? Ravon, I don't know who that is. Salk, I don't know. I guess this is one of the Nixons, I don't know, I don't know which Nixon died in the 90s. Cobain is Kurt Cobain. I'm looking for Cosell. Cosell. see oh I did find Cosell okay y'all didn't tell me I found it and didn't cross it out this is what ash I don't know who that is either Nixon here we go Perkins Mercury Is that Freddie Mercury? I don't remember when he died either. You know, there's literally some celebrities. I'm like I had no idea that person died And then there's some that I'm like, oh, I feel bad because I'm like I thought that person been died I was talking about this with my mom the other day because She mentioned someone had died and I was like I had like when oh she mentioned Lisa Marie Presley, Elvis Presley's daughter, died. And I don't know, like, it doesn't ring a bell. Some, some, um, celebrities, I'm like, I remember where I was when I heard they died. Like, when Tupac died, I was, like, devastated because <laughs> I love Tupac. And, like, literally devastated. I probably cried a little, too, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I remember where I was, you know, or how I felt about it, but there's just some celebrities I don't, like, you can't keep up with everyone and remember everyone who passed away. So, yeah, she was telling me that the other day, and I'm like, what? Like, when did she pass away, and isn't she, like, young, you know? I mean, you can pass away at any time, but... It's just always so surprising when it's a little, you know, always a little shocking when someone dies young. I don't know how old is she, is she like in her 50s or something? I still feel like that's young. Um, but her mom is alive, I believe, according to my mom. But yeah, I was like, I had no idea she passed away. It's crazy. Yeah, then there's some celebrities that I'm like, wow, they're still alive. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what? We were watching some show. And what's his name? Bob Barker. Um, The new guy who hosts uh, The Price is Right. I forget his name. You know, every time I come up on here, I forget everything. Um, But he hosts The Price is Right. And he was talking about Bob Barker and, you know... How, how he loved him and blah 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 but I was like oh Bob Barker was still alive like <laughs> that man was like 80 in the 90s like you know how some people are just like you feel like they've always been old <laughs> like that man has been old since he was born but I was like oh okay I thought he'd been died 
but I guess he died like a few years ago or something. I thought he died like 10 years ago. <laughs> so ridiculous, but... Davis Jr. We, so we finished this row. Let's finish this one. I don't know who Salk and I don't know who Wayne is. Mm. So I've never even heard of that last name. Doesn't ring a bell at all. Wayne. I don't know who that can be either. Wayne, 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 Wayne. Here we go. Okay. We got that roll, so now let's find the last words here. Davis Jr. Let's look for Junior first. Here we go, I found it. Dr. Seuss. Yeah, that's another, like, Dr. Seuss. I just felt like Dr. Seuss was never, like, like, he was never real or, like, he died long before the 90s. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> So you mean to tell me, like, Dr. Seuss was still alive in the 90s? Dr. Seuss is actually a real person? Here we go, Dr. Seuss. Some people, some people, like some celebrities, I feel like aren't a real person or like they're so old, like they've been died. Like Walt Disney, I don't know when Walt Disney died, but I feel like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he's not a real person either. And like he probably died in like the 30s or something or before that. I know that sounds so ridiculous. Like, I think these people are 100, 200 years old. But that's how it feels. Like, let's see. I'm looking for easy E. I did watch. The Easy E movie, I believe it was that one. Straight out of Compton. I can't remember if it was like based around him or based around like Death Row in general. I've watched a lot of things like documentaries about like Death Row and like Easy E. I really like documentaries a lot. So Sometimes it all just like meshes together. Easy. Easy. Here we go. But I did like that Straight Outta Compton movie. Hepburn, Hill, and Kennedy. I'm guessing one of the Kennedys. Again, don't know. There's too many things to remember in my day-to-day -day life, like, to remember everyone, every celebrity, not even everyone, like a celebrity who I don't know, to remember everyone that's passed, like, I can't do it. Hepburn. It's amazing that I, rec I remember the amount of things that I do, or that I remember, like, passwords and stuff. Like, that's insane to me. Having to remember a gazillion passwords and just remember a million things is... It's crazy. 
I think I'm gonna like Schindler's List really that's super depressing to do a Schindler's List puzzle <laughs> I'm not doing that sorry I just feel like y'all could have made I don't know maybe some people like doing serious puzzles like that I just feel like y'all could have added so many more things from the 90s But you're at things like Schindler's List. Uh, Tupac. Oh my god, speaking of Tupac, how did I not know there was a Tupac puzzle? I just, oh wow, that's crazy. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I had to get my charger. Alright, I'm gonna shake y'all a little bit. Just hold on. Okay. You're gonna shake a little. Oops, my phone almost fell. Okay, see? We're all good. to plug my charger in all right Tupac oh my goodness I was just speaking of him isn't that crazy so we have what looks like a lot of his songs this just makes me want to listen to Tupac after this Yes, I love Tupac as a teen. He was my favorite. Um, I used to listen. He, and Tupac has so much music. Like after he died, the amount of music they, of his they released was insane. But he has like so much music, and I just love him. Like he said, he was such a good actor too. I watched all his movies that he was in. I actually just rewatched Gridlock the other day. Um, sometimes like they don't have certain movies, and I I hate that. I already have I already pay for like you know different movie services, and I also like have channels. From friends and family that I use <laughs> cuz I don't want to pay for it but it's like so much just to find a movie it's like oh no we don't have this prime be like oh we don't have this movie but you can buy it for ten dollars I'm like I'm not buying that or like Netflix oh my god Netflix is the worst because you will put a, a you will start typing in a movie title and they'll be like oh yeah we know what movie you're talking about here let us finish it for you but we don't have it so you know you can't watch it but Netflix is so annoying in that way at least with Amazon they bring up the actual movie and they'll be like oh yeah you can rent it for three dollars you can buy it for like ten dollars or you can get it through this you know Showtime or Paramount or something you know but Netflix, oh, they get me so mad with that because you get a little excited at first like, oh, they know what movie I'm talking about. They might have it. Nope, they don't have it. They just leave you hanging. But yeah, and yeah, I say like a couple of months ago, I watched Gridlock again. I really like that movie. Um, but yeah, he's a good actor. I think I found his writer. I was like really obsessed with that Machiavelli album, like really, really obsessed. 
is so good um and then there was like all the conspiracy theories that came out after he after he died and then he re they released that Machiavelli album and stuff there was like so many conspiracy theories it was like ridiculous but um yeah that was crazy I really I actually really like watching conspiracy theory stuff some things make sense and then some things I'm like okay this is like a stretch but it's just so funny and interesting how um I think I liked them more because just the way people research and put things together makes a lot of conspiracy theories very believable I'm sure some may be true but some of them I'm like come on you did make that believable but it's it's a stretch or I just don't believe it right but um I think that's what I like the most about when people like make these conspiracy theories up it's just I don't know like that's very creative of you <laughs> to put that and that together but some of the conspiracy theories with Tupac was just like so ridiculous and I don't know it's like we'll never know we'll probably never know what's true and what's not so but it's just funny for me to watch those things I kept looking right here and thinking I see a word so Machiavelli oh here goes Shug Shug Knight and then I feel like I see a word right here death row jail <laughs> okay we know he went to jail but like you really had to put jail in here that's so funny yeah Tupac used to get me mad because why are you always in jail please stay out of jail thank you <laughs> please stay out of jail and make some movies and make some music for us Dog life. Here we go. Hit him up. Like probably the the best this record ever made. First to bomb. Yeah, hit him up. <laughs> Is an iconic song. I don't know if do I found I feel like I found a word here somewhere. No, right? Okay. Um okay, I was looking for hit him up. Wait. I know there's some words over here. I'm just not seeing it like clearly, so I'll move on. I'm gonna move on from hit him up as well. I see mad at ya. I think one of my favorite, definitely like top three Tupac songs is so many tears i love that song so much i remember the video like it if the video feels in the song it has like weird creepy vibes to it a little bit i think mainly the video i guess it is kind of like a heavy song like a heavy feel to it 
but that is my favorite well top three for sure favorite Tupac song so many tears I love that song California love a lot of his like I guess mainstream type songs like California Love, Changes, Your Mama. I don't really care for those songs. Yeah, they're not like my favorite songs. But, you know, I still enjoy them. But I guess those are like more mainstream, you know, like played on the radio and like had videos that got airplay, you know changes I like changes too that's a good song how could they not put I get around on here I love that song dear mama let's find that okay eyes on me I do like ambition, Ambitions as a writer. I like that song too. I love that song. Um, Eyes on Me. Here we go. Still looking for Dear Mama. Let's look for Mama first because I see a lot of D. Like D and DEs. Here we go. Okay. All right. We have one, two, three, four more words. Hit them up and night. Oh, you know what song I love? And it was made after he died, though. That song with him and Keisha Cole. Play your cards right. Oh, my God. I love that song. I love Keisha Cole. Um, I think I'm going to listen to that when I finish this. Because I actually haven't heard that song in a long time. Play your cards right. Her and Tupac. Love that song. Hit him up. I'm looking for night still. Mm, I don't even see much K's. K right here, K right here, K. But no K N. Now I'm seeing all these K's, but no K N night. And we're looking for Shakur and Ya Head Up. Here goes Ya Head Up. Shakur. Done. Now we just need night. I'm gonna cross out night because that's the last word. If you found it already, don't yell at me, okay? Wow, where is this word at? All right, I'm gonna look for part of the word G H T is what I'm gonna look for because this is G oh my goodness GHT I can't even find that finally you know what's so funny is I said K here K here a little while ago right I know somebody's yelling at me. Okay, cross it out. That's it. We're done, right?
Yes, we're done. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Um, your day, all of that good stuff. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Michael Jackson said good night. Okay, and to take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all in the next video. MJ said sweet dreams, y'all. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.